Okay, so this is a tutorial for speedrunning Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for PC. Um, this first video is just to get the game running and streaming and loadless timer and all that jazz. Um, so first of all, you're going to want, in order to stream this game at all, uh, we have to run it in windowed mode. Otherwise, it just doesn't cooperate. So you're going to want to go into your program files and we need to find the exe file for the game. It's probably going to be under EA Games and then Prisoner of Azkaban and System. And you should have somewhere hppoa.exe and that's the file we want. Uh, we need to create a shortcut and put it on the desktop. And then in order to make this run in windowed, you have to go into the shortcuts properties. And at the end of the target, we want to put a space, a hyphen, and then the word windowed. And that's going to make it so that when we start up the game, and I'm going to switch, uh, when we start up the game, it'll load in a windowed mode instead of a full screen mode, and then we can screen capture it and go from there. Um, so that gets the game running in windowed mode. If it's not loading properly, um, running in administrator and reduced color mode tends to break the first two games, so having those deselected may help. Um, second, this game on any PC older than, say, XP tends to tends to have an unstable frame rate, and under an unstable frame rate, the game can actually soft lock in certain spots, and we need to stop that, so we have to use a frame rate limiter. Um, the two that are used most often are Fraps and DX Story, so you just need to download one of them. I use DX Story. Um, DX Story, you never have to buy it, just use the trial. It's sufficient. And then you're going to want to run the game. And just by clicking on the window, it should recognize the game. And then um, in order to stream, you have to add an exception for OBS. Otherwise, OBS just won't like it. Um, we need to go into this advanced tab and at the bottom click limit video FPS and we need to limit it to 60. Um, other FPS's may work but the community has decided that HP3 needs to be limited to 60 FPS. If you then wish you can show the video FPS on the game itself. It's not required but it can be helpful. Um, after that, the only real last thing you need for streaming the game is the auto splitter. Not the auto splitter, the loadless timer. So let me just close these splits. So, in order to use the loadless timer, your game name needs to be set to a couple of. There, there's a couple of different things you can set it to. Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban works. That's not correct. Where is it? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban PC works. You can also do HP3. Both of those work. And once you do that, you get auto splitting and load move are available. And if you go into settings, which just did something weird, you can turn on automatic start. Automatic start and automatic reset don't do anything with HP3, unfortunately. And you can use automatic split, but we don't have a map waitlist. So most people choose to go without it. Um, I personally use it, and I will eventually end up explaining how it works and how to set that up, but that's not really necessary, but I won't be doing that here. Um, aside from that, 
when you set up your layout. Uh, oh, oh, one thing that's important. After you set up your splits, you need to make sure the game is set, that the compare against is set to game time. Uh, you can set this in your layout in a couple of spots, like under splits, um, timing method, game time, under timer, timing method, game time. If it's under real time, it'll run the game, it'll time you in real time. Uh, the load list timer only works in game time. Additionally, when submitting runs to the leaderboard, you need to submit... I, I don't know if it's necessary, but it's good to have anyways. You need to submit both a load list time and a real time. You need to have a time without loads, one with. So, if you don't want to go back and, I don't know, check a VOD and figure out the time, um, in your layout, I'd recommend having two different timers. One for... I, I use a detailed timer for loadless times and time the regular timer for real time. There's another spot, there's another way you can do it. I don't remember it. I don't know how to do it. But it's a you need you should have a load a time with loads and a time without. Um, I'm just going to load my personal splits quickly. Um, the last thing you need, yeah, and then uh, just getting the game captured right in OBS. You can use window capture. You can use monitor capture. Both of them work just fine. Um, I'm not gonna go through OBS settings or how to stream or any of that. that you'd have, if you need help with that, you'd have to find it in a different spot. Um, something's weird here, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I know I did. So. That's it for getting the game to run. You need to have the game frame FPS. You need the FPS limited, you need to be in windowed mode. And the loadless timer needs to be set to game time. That's about it.